was a guitarist anyway. Oh, hi. I'm Ken, and I'm going to be reviewing Season 2 of the rebooted Twilight Zone, the one headed up by Jordan Peele. And uh, I'm going to be ranking the, the episodes, uh, just like last year, from a scale of 1 to 10. And so let's get started. Oh, but before I do, let me just say one thing about last year's uh, seasons where I ranked the episodes. You may have noticed that my eyes were kind of darting back and forth, and that's because I was referring to notes that were off screen, but this time I've written down the notes in this book here. So let's start with episode one. This is called Meat in the Middle, and that's M-E-E-T, not M-E-A-T. There's no bologna sandwich here. Okay, the stars are <laughs> Jimmy Simpson and Kristen Lehman. In the synopsis, a lonely bachelor makes a telepathic connection with a stranger, but not everything is as it seems in his new romance. And I thought this was a good start of the season. I gave it a ranking of 8 out of 10. And uh, what more can I say? Let's go on to episode 2 now. This is Downtime, and it's written by Jordan Peele himself. The stars are Marina Bachanin, Coleman Domingo, and Sorinda Swan. In the synopsis, after a woman is promoted to hotel manager, the nature of her reality is called into question. And I found this episode to be more like a Black Mirror type episode than more of a Twilight Zone type episode. If you see it, you'll know what I mean. I gave this a ranking of 7.5 out of 10. Not quite as good as the first episode, but still pretty good. Now let's move on to episode three called The Who of You, and this is a good one. I'll tell you one thing right now. This episode is good enough to be in the original Twilight Zone series, the one written by Rod Serling. And the stars are Ethan Embry, Daniel Simjata, and Mel Rodriguez. And the synopsis, a struggling actor risks everything to catch his big break, but an impulsive scheme takes a few unexpected turns. And like I said, this is a good one. I gave this a ranking of 9 out of 10. And now episode 4, Ovation. And the stars are Jernice Smollett, Tawny Newsom, and Sky Ferreira. In the synopsis, a struggling singer's music career takes off when she witnesses a tragic accident, but she soon realizes that her recognition comes at a steep cost. Uh, this one was a little weaker than the other two, the other three, sorry. I gave this a ranking of 6 out of 10. Now we're in the halfway mark, because there's 10 episodes in this season. Episode 5, this is called Among the Untrodden. The stars are Abby Hearn and Sophie Macy. I think it's Sophie, yeah. Oh, so, sorry, Sophia Macy. <laughs> my handwriting isn't that good. Okay, that's my excuse. <laughs> Synopsis, a transfer student's unusual interests make her an easy target at her new all-girls boarding school before she discovers her popular classmate's special talent. And I ranked this about the same as the other one. Well, exactly the same as the other one. I gave this a ranking of 6 out of 10. And now we move on to episode 6, which is called 8. And the stars are Joel McHale, Nadia Hilker, and Michelle Ang. And the synopsis... A team, of scientific <laughs> a team of scientists discover a new highly intelligent species that may endanger more than their research. This was, to me, I'd say the worst episode of the series. I gave this a ranking of 5.5 out of 10, which was kind of almost the equivalent of last year's worst episode, which I found anyway, which was called uh, The Wonderkind. I gave that a 5 out of 10. So this is just a tiny bit better than The Wonderkind, but not much. I found it to be kind of cheesy, to be honest with you, but that's my taste, that's my rankings, so there you go. You might find it better. Episode 7, A Human Face. The stars are Christopher Maloney, Jenna Elfman, and Tavi Gevinson. The synopsis, a grieving couple are led to second-guess what's worth leaving behind when an otherworldly encounter interrupts their move. I thought this was okay. I gave this a ranking of 7 out of 10. Now we move on to episode 8, A Small Town, and I like this one. The stars are Damon Wayans Jr., David Krumholtz, and Natalie Martinez. 
In the synopsis, a church handyman discovers a magic scale model that gives him the power to help his small town, but the mayor takes all the credit for his good intentions. And I gave this a ranking of 8 out of 10. Episode 9 is called Try Try, and the stars are Topher Grace and Kylie Bunbury. In the synopsis, a man dazzles a woman with his seemingly miraculous abilities, but their encounter takes a dark turn when the true source of his charisma is revealed. I thought it was eh, kind of average, but not bad, really. I gave this a ranking of 6.5 out of 10. And finally, episode 10, which is called You Might Also Like. And I like this one enough to look up the uh, person who wrote it. It was written and directed by Osgood Perkins. And uh, I think his uh, he should be in season three because this is a very entertaining uh, uh, s story here. If there is a season three, then I think he should definitely contribute a story. The stars are Gretchen Maul, Greta Lee, and Gil Bellows. In the synopsis, a stay-at-home housewife is looking forward to acquiring a heavily marketed device that promises to make everything better forever, but the product has an unsavory truth. And uh, like I said, this is a very entertaining episode. It's kind of a, has a dark humor to it, a dark satire touch to it. And I gave this a ranking of 8.5 out of 10. And now we'll move on to my final thoughts about this season. Now let's talk about the uh, episode length, because that was one of the complaints by people about the uh, first uh, uh, season of the rebooted Twilight Zone. Some of them were found to be a little too long, but in this one, the longest episode was The Who of You, at just over 46 minutes in length. And I found that most episodes were between 31 and 41 minutes. And there was no bloat that they didn't wear with the welcome. And uh, yeah, overall, I have to say it was a pretty good season. And uh, one episode, a small town, had only one profane word. And there were two other episodes that didn't have any profane at all, profanity at all. It was a human face, and you might also like. And I guess maybe they're listening to people saying that they really don't care for profanity in the Twilight Zone. I certainly don't care for it. To me, profanity has no place in the Twilight Zone. It's supposed to be a classy show. And uh, this season was better than the season one, as I said. And the stories weren't uh, issue-oriented like the first season was. They were focused more on pure storytelling. So there you go, folks. That's my review of season two of the rebooted Twilight Zone. I hope you enjoyed this review, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.